Welcome to Expressworks. This is the second adventure. So let's go ahead and uh, bring up the menu. It shows the first adventure is completed. If you haven't completed it, you can go back and watch that video. Now let's select the second adventure, which is called Static. It shows us the problem and some hints. As always, we will try to solve the problem without looking at the hints. So what it wants us to do, it wants us to apply the static middleware to serve some uh, files, for example, index.html. And the path to that uh, file, where this is basically the folder where that file is located, will be given to us in this variable, process.argv3. And the port, as always, will be passed into process.argv2. So for this example, we don't need any routes, just uh, the static middleware. And this is the file, so you can copy paste this code, create a similar file, but just be aware of the white spaces. I will just use the file provided by the workshop itself. Okay, so let's go back to the editor and create a new file. I will be name, uh, using the naming convention with the number of the adventure followed by the name. So it's 2 dash static. As always, we start by importing the required dependencies. The path is a core module, so we don't need to install it. Express is a NPM module, so we've already installed it in the first exercise in the Hello World. Then on the line 3 we instantiate that Express app, and on line 5 we use app.use method. And then we apply static middleware. We're passing the folder name, and also in case that variable is null, we want to fall back on the public folder name. And then we listen to the port number provided in the second argument, in, which is actually first argument because argv is a zero-based uh, array and the first uh, item would be the command line, node.js, and the second line would be, second item would be the program name. So we start, the first argument is number two and then second argument is number three. But you don't uh, need to remember it unless you want to uh, run this example manually, which I don't recommend. You can get rid of this semicolon. If this looks complex to you, basically what's happening here, we have path module and then we call join. So join, it's a cross-platform method to create uh, folder paths. Because on Windows and Linux, the folder separation is different. It's a back, backwards and forward slash. So what we do, we just provide a bunch of strings into this uh, method, and then we'll get nicely formatted, normalized uh, path. It's optional if you want to play, if you want to play and create a public folder right here. Let's go ahead and do it. So everything from this public folder will be served. So I can create even a text file would be served. But that's not what the example is asking. So if you want to, you can create a index.html in that folder and then get rid of this uh, argv. But I do not recommend it because uh, you might introduce some white space so what we want because you but i don't recommend it because you might introduce some white space so it should be working just fine when we run it so let's go ahead and try it and then i'm using two okay it works just fine we have the output which is provided by the workshop. So this file is provided by the workshop. We didn't create it. Now we can verify and uh, obviously it's passing. 
So my solution looks exactly the same as the solution provided. One more thing before starting the server, we need to add this port number, the fallback, because we're not providing our, any arguments. So now I'm restarting the server again. And if I type test.txt, I see this file. So that's how you can serve any content. Just be aware not to uh, make this uh, public folder, not to make it your root, not to expose any of your Node.js files because uh, you don't want to expose that code. You might have some more sensitive uh, API keys or passwords to a database in that file. So let's go back to the terminal and bring up the menu. And it shows static is completed.